Hello again. Uh, today I'm going to show you how easy it is to deploy resources on an existing cl Kubernetes cluster using documentation that you already have online at your fingertips using command line in uh, kubectl. So uh, I'm going to do a demo of that right now. So I already have a very simple cluster running with just one node in GCP. They will see it is just a one node cluster, so it doesn't cost me any money. So now looking at the documentation that I can look up from, from command line itself, it's super easy. So I can say, look, I, I think the command is krun, so I'm just going to do a minus h to see what the, what the options are, examples are. The magic of this whole thing is it gives you all kinds of examples already. So for example, right now, if I do k get, by the way, my alias is set to k for Kubernetes, so I can show you how to do that k equals kubectl. That way I don't have to type kubectl all the time. I can just write k, which is a very common practice. So if I do k get pods minus a, that means in all nam namespaces, these are the pods that are already running. All but one of them are already by default. It runs from NGCP. One of them I created for as just for, as practice, nginx2. So looking again, looking at the example in the documentation, it gives me exactly what I need to run. So for example, let's say I want to run an Nginx pod. I can just run this command and in seconds it'll be ready. So if I now do k okay, get pods, there are two pods running, one that I created before I started the video and the one I just deployed. Now, let's say that I just do, um, I want to create something. So do k okay, create, minus h it tells me these are the sub options i have to create for example i can create a job i can create quotas i can create roles services whatnot so let's say that i want to create a deployment so i do k create deploy minus h again the magic of this whole thing is it gives you examples to begin with so what if i just wanted to create a deployment using the busy box image I run that command, already created. Now I check it, k okay, get deploy. See that one, I have one deployment already running, the one I just created. So again, the whole idea is the documentation is already there, already live in your command line. You can just copy paste and deploy resources. One more example, if I do k create job minus h, get the examples right here. So I can literally copy paste and run that. And I, now I can just do k get jobs. There's one. So hopefully this was useful to you. As you can see, this is super easy. If we just know what command to run to get the help to begin with, once you have that, then it's super easy to just create resources on an existing cluster that you have access to. Hopefully this was useful to you and we'll see you next time.